So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Cameron. Today is inspection day, but also I'm going to do an experiment. <coughs> These are, <coughs> excuse me, an all plastic frame. And apparently they are the best frames to have, apparently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on some of the highs that have frames that they haven't started working on yet i'm going to swap them out with these and see if they prefer them let's see what they do so guys i am going to start the inspection with these girls here uh, and also i'm going to swap out one of the one of the uh, oh girls one of the brood frames for that hot, completely plastic one missed you ladies it's been a few days isn't it huh? you miss me Oh, girls, the propolis going on, I see. Nice. Let me grab some uh, candies. So, I believe, I believe that we, <coughs> that the goldenrod has started, and I think they are back on nectar. I do. Let's see. Let's see how they're doing. Ladies, in a few days, isn't it? Been a little bit busy doing stuff. Yeah. Alright, so just dark honey, yeah, that's not that's not sugar water honey. That is absolutely not sugar water honey. It's really dark. Propolis going on, girls. Wow. If propolis was an Olympic sport, girls, You'd be proper winning. Solid honey. Both sides. And that is dark. I don't think, again, I don't think that's sugar water. When I was feeding them all last month, it was like spring coloured honey. What do you think? What do you think? Do you think it's too late for me to harvest some? I do have a queen excluder on this one. You uh, more educated beekeepers out there, let me know. Can I harvest some of this honey? Because they've got it packed packed. And it's very dark. And on this one, there's a hump. I'm not concerned about bringing this over here because I have a queen excluder on. You see that hump in the bottom there? It's the first time I've seen that. It looks like some good honey. Somebody drop me a comment and say, absolutely take some. Or, hell no, don't leave it for them. They need it to get through the winter. They do have two brood boxes. Again, 95% capped. Oh. Wow. 95% capped. Both sides. So that's uh 
one two three four 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 frames that are 95 percent capped five and this is why I started wearing gloves in the first place the propolis is just ow takes two days to get off your hands well capped honey all right girls let's go down and see what you've got downstairs you know I can swap out that frame and do a test Propel is crazy. All right, girls. I might take a tiny bit of that honey just to try it. Very dark. All right, girlies. Let me uh, put this on the ground. Go ahead and put you on that. This is going to be heavy. Yep, I knew it was going to be. <clears throat> a lot of money in that. Girls. Started on that propolis, I see. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. Honey. I am thick, thick, thick honey. There's nothing on this one. But this is the sort of frame that I want to swap out for that one of them plastic ones and see how well they take to it. lots of honey and that's nectar so we are back in the nectar flow ladies very busy I see this looks a lot like extremely thick cat honey So we've got a ton of capped honey, nectar, a little bit of brood, and on this side, a little bit of brood and some more heavily capped honey. So what I'm gonna do is keep looking again. Tons of honey, wow, look at that. Completely full of honey, and look how dark it is. Now these lighter edges parts here, that's from last month when I was, uh, that's from last month when I was sugar water feeding them. And on this side, we've got a bit of brood and some dark honey. And some burr comb in between those two. Oh, sorry girls. <coughs> that side completely capped with honey. And on this side it's completely capped with dark honey. You can see the difference. See how light that is? And see how dark that is. But uh, based on the what I'm seeing so far. They've got more than enough stores to get through the winter. You have girls. Oh, that's heavy again. So we got a honey 
we've got uh, brood and honey uh, bridge same on that side thick brood and a thick honey bridge look how thick that propolis is so girls you're in excellent shape so far brood and a honey bridge brood thick heavy brood and a honey bridge they're all they're going to be the winter bees i believe they're going to be winter bees and then we've got yeah we're definitely back in a flow it's full of nectar both sides so I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this next one out, and that's the one I'm going to swap. I'm pretty sure they haven't got anything going on on it. No, they haven't. So, <coughs> that's the one. I know, girls. That was a little bit off putting, wasn't it? All right. Let's get one of these plastic frames in there and move that one that way. Put that in there and let's see what they do with it. Alright, oh, girls. I know, I annoyed you. It wasn't intentional. So let's go down. They've got. Let's see how much brood she truly has. Because they've got honey and brood in this one. <coughs> yep. That's heavy. little bit of perk on. Don't be getting feisty on me girls. Don't you be getting feisty on me. Alright. Let's see. Out of the way you little bugger. Let's see what she's got going on down here. More honey. What's the problem? Out the way, girls. All right, so we need to go on the edge. The honey needs to move in a bit. Wow, you are propolis crazy, ladies. Yes, you are. Some honey there. Out of the way, ladies. Thank you. So, bit of honey, bit of brood, bit of honey. Let me take one of these out. I'm gonna go all the way through. I've got sweat in my eyes. Alright, let's give us a bit 
more room and it goes. So, numbers wise, numbers wise, they're in good shape. I'd like to see some more brood, ladies, please, if I may. There's more brood, more brood, okay. We've got eggs, larvae, brood, brood, bit of honey. There's no doubt in my mind that these girls are going to make it through the winter. Based, uh, well, they've got the resources, let's say that. They do have the resources to get through winter. And then some. Bright yellow pollen, that's probably off the, probably off the uh, goldenrod brood. I see fuzzy bees, so we got new bees. Brood. Two more girls and then I'll be out of your hair. Pollen. I'm just starting on that. Alright. Girls, you did awesome. But now I've got to push you all the way back there. So. Can't do it, too much of it. There we go. Oh, girls. You are killing me. You are killing me with that propolis. You did. You did awesome. Go, go back down while I put the top back on. Alright girls, you did, oh I need to put some candies in, you did awesome, you did, and it looks like you're in great shape. So, at Phil Tony, at Phil Tony, what do you think, do you think I can take some of that honey? They've got five and a half frames in the super, plenty in there, we're going on a nectar flow, drop me a, a comment to uh, tell me if I can take some, I'd like to try some, even if I just take a little bit. Alright girls, you did awesome. So, just based on where the camera is, we'll move on to number five. Just a slight adjustment on the camera. Open up. 
I'm coming in. I need to give them that to. Uh, Need to fill your sugar water up, don't I, ladies? Well, you got a tiny little bit left in there. Well, I'll fill it up anyway. Take it away from here. I don't want to. Don't want to start. Open up girls, I'm coming in. This is just where I've been feeding them. Ladies, how the devil are you? Let's see, uh, let's see what you've got going on with feeding you that sugar water. Okay, shall we? Shall we have a quick look, girls? Propolis. Oh, my, my girls are properly crazy. So, we got some nice sugar water, honey. A little bit darker. Yeah, we're definitely into, back into a nectar flow. I would, I'm not a betting man, but I would bet a dollar just based on watching the colours of the honey, of the cappings. A little bit of fruit there, nothing to get excited about. This does not have a queen excluder on. Oh, like that brood being on right on the edge. That's all sugar water honey. See how light it is in comparison to what I saw earlier in that hive. So I'm going to put you there and keep looking. So full of nectar. Well, it could be also the sugar water I've been feeding them. And is that? Eggs? Can't tell. I can't. I cannot tell. All right, girls. Let's have a look. Solid honey. Both sides. What are you doing, little girl? Just hanging out. Doing your own thing. That's where I uh, checkerboarded it to see if they would work on it better. Not really. So they still need feeding. They haven't got tons and tons of honey up here. So although we've gone back into a flow, I'm gonna give my head uh, a kick start with I'll continue feeding them sugar water through this uh, this month all right go tiny bit with the brood on it I'll put that in the center I'm working too hard to try and keep that tiny bit of brood warm See what's going on below. <laughs> Ladies, a bit of burr comb. Everything's sticking to my fingers. To get some nylon gloves, don't I? So that I can still feel but be gentle with them. Alright, girls, get out the bloody way. 
Burkow, young lady, you're going to have to give it up. Thank you. All right, that's solid honey. A little bit of brood. Solid. Sugar water honey. <coughs> Building up. Building up, building up. They don't. You can't check a body. I don't think with uh, with honey. They don't care. that we've got to uh, <coughs> oh, they're too quick for me there's two I'll put some uh, candy jam in here I just saw two Keep feeding you, and you'll. Uh, I think you'll be fine. I'll check the brood chamber next inspection. All right, girls. All right, girls. I'll finish the inspection and then I'll bring you some more sugar water, okay? You'll like it. I'll make it myself. Okay. Let's move on. Go over to number number two and check those girls out. All right, girls, let's see how you're diddling. Let's see how you're diddling. these again I haven't been I can't catch them for love no money <laughs> again these were all fed last month but they are back onto their own devices what you got going on girls not a great deal the looks of it certainly not up here not uh, solid capped honey on one side that looks suspicious like uh, sugar water what do you think Captain, it's like both sides. No, oh, it just started. So, Captain, 
chapter on these, chapter on these, okay. Just look down below. Just look down below, girls. See what Queen is up to. Propolis, girls, okay, I got you. It's just me. Oh, coming out, having a look, nosy, nosy girls. Okay. No, just going out on there. So we've got honey in here. No, just drawn out comb, a little bit. Really dark pollen. Young lady, you know it's just me. All right, so dark honey. Dark honey. I'm getting into brood. A bit of brood. Not that excitable. That's heavy pollen must be on the other side. Yep. Pollen on that side. Bit of bit of brood on this side and the next one solid honey. Yep. Solid on one side and a nice brood pattern on the other. That's uh, darker honey. So I think I think she's doing I think she's doing okay. Brood, brood, honey. Are you sunbathing? <laughs> this little bee. She's just lying there. Spread eagled. Not doing anything. Bit of sunbathing. What's the matter with you? Nothing, just sunbathing. Okay. Fine. Obviously you're on a break. Honey. Brood, let's turn that brood around. Make it a little bit easier for them, keep it warmer. We are in a, I want, I'm going to use the term cold spell. It's not cold, I'm still wet through. But the humidity is down right now. Uh, highs of mid 80s, lows in the mid 60s. A lot less humidity, which I love. I do. Stop tickling my leg. Fine, tickle my leg. And back into honey. Okay. Ow. Back her off. And she's still not there sunbathing. <laughs> I need to come this way, girls. Oh, 
All right, calm your pants, it's me. Okay, I think they are doing absolutely fine. So again, I won't go down into the brood chamber, I'll wait till next inspection and leave them to keep building up their winter stores <coughs> well, I need to put the uh, candies in You like that candy? All right, move on. Nice one, ladies. You did awesome. <coughs> and let's go into. Let's go into number. I'm coming in so again I'm feeding these girls oh that's a lot of high beetles one two three four five six why is there so many dead bees in the top there I've got a load of dead bees in the top here why are they all dead? Out of water, out of the sugar water. Let me get rid of, have they just come up here to die? Are these summer bees that have died? Let me get rid of this so they don't uh, start going crazy mental. I've never seen that, although this is, I would class this as outside of the hive because it's just where I've been feeding them um, I'm seeing there's probably 30 30 dead bees they come up here to die I don't know drop me a comment let me know is it just you they're using that cavity because it's there where the hell's my hive tool gone for it but they're, they're definitely dead and I saw a ton far too many hive beetles so these will be getting treated with a trap and uh, dead bees apparently you can rub them into your hair if you go in bald it's good for uh, Stimulates hair growth, apparently. All right, girls. What was going on up there? Just using it as a cemetery. Hmm. Honey, 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 honey. If I'm my other five tool, I need that J hook. Maybe took it over here. Yeah. But So, looks like they're building their stores up. They're very calm girls, very calm. They certainly look like they're building their stores up. Yep. Yep. Uh, that's the outside frame so if that's the case I'm hoping that they are well on their way to getting enough brood 
brood and honey okay more honey than brood I'm hoping that they're well on their way with stores to get them through the winter brood and honey that's dark honey that's back under the nectar flow should have put the camera over there shouldn't I guys I'm sorry I'm talking to you but not looking at you Honey and brood, thick brood, thick honey. Yeah. They're well on the way. I'll keep feeding them sugar water. I'm going to put some candies in and if I can find my vegetable oil, a vegetable oil trap. Because I did not like to see all those I didn't like seeing all those uh... all right girls some nice honey for you there I'll keep feeding you I will it seems like you're doing apart from the seeing five or six hive beetles all in the top there you seem to be doing well And that will be back shortly with some sugar water for you. Okay. Now let's move on to number four. All right, girls. Again, th these girls are on sugar water. And they finished it. Get rid of this. Girls, girls, girls. Here I am. Hello, ladies. The numbers are getting a bit higher now, a bit better. So I'll put that other black frame, the all black, black plastic frame. I'll put it in here. It's been in the sun, that melting. It wasn't bright camera, was it? Yeah, I know, girls, it was me. I knocked it over, I'm sorry. My bad. Let's see how you girls are doing. I may give you two feeder jars by the looks of it. I need you to get your numbers up, girls.
Yeah, I'm gonna double feed these girls. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven frames of bees. This is a new queen. I'm not, uh, she's not thrilling me with her laying ability. And I'm pretty sure it's too late now in the season to do anything about that. Pattern. I mean, the brood's there, but it's not a thick pattern. I wanted to. I really wanted to see more from this new queen. Let's see. Well, that's better. It's getting better, and there she is. Would you like to see the queen, darling? She's slow. Why is she so slow? Because she's young. See her. Yellow dot, top right corner. Oh yeah. So I, I, want, I wanted to see a lot more brood from her. She's slow. We've got seven frames of bees. I'm going to double feed them. Brood. It's a bit of spotty brood. That's garbage, that girl. Brood on this side. I might give them a pollen patty as well. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's better, girl. There's some solid brood on that one. Much better. All right, I'm gonna give you a frame. I'm going to give you this frame, see what you do with it. Darling, can you do me a favour? There's two bottles there, and there's one just inside the RV. The uh, sugar water is in the receptacles, my, my sugar water receptacles. See if you can get me four, not three, because I want to put two in this one. Please? Are these big ones? Yeah. There's one just inside the RV. But see if you can get me a fourth one um, with the. Bear with me, one guy, while I sort out my uh, better half. Where am I going to find a fourth? All right, so she's laying. She is laying, and we've got two frames of, of, of semi-solid brood. Semi-solid, I'll say that. But. I need to, uh, I need to coax her, I do, and I need to move this, that's going to encourage robbing, all the wax is melting and the nectar is falling out, that's no good. I'll put a couple of candies in for you girls. Well, they're not for you, to deter the eye uh, beetles. So, to summarise, everybody's doing well at, for the time of year. I'm pleased we've gone back into a nectar flow. And, no, oh, wrong. Wrong layer camera, put that one on first. I'm going to double feed these, see if I can will her on to uh, lay more. And drop me a comment about those 
dead bees. Are they just utilising that uh, space in that hive number three? <sighs> With the feeder space. I don't know. Right, ladies. I'll get the sugar water off duly and we'll see you. See you in a week or so. Well guys, that's all I've got for you today. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button, so you know when we put a new video up. But that's all I've got today. I will see you guys in the next video.